Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Experts arrive to isolate couples' home after they report strange rock. This man found a strange rock on the face. He noticed that there could be more to this rock, so he requested assistance. Moments later, his house was closed off and quarantined. Shortly after he made the call, an officer arrived at his home with ready to share what he found. The man was completely speechless with his jaw dropped. But what was it? Back in the spring of 2016, a couple named Stephen Witten and Viola were going for a nice walk on Middleton Sand. There was a spot in Lancashire, England. It was close to their home in Overton, and it had impeccable views. Middleton Sands is quite the favorite spot amongst hikers and dog owners in the area. Stephen and Viola preferred their privacy when they were trying to relax. As they were enjoying the view, Stephen suddenly saw something off. There was a horrible odor in the air. Soon after, they found something that would subsequently alter their lives. They sniffed a few times, trying to understand the source of the smell. It resembled rotten fish, and they'd never smelt it before. They wanted to get away from the area, but they couldn't help but be curious. As they continued, they finally saw it. There was a grayish blob lying on the ground. The couple walked towards the horrible odor, hoping to find what it was. Then they saw a strange rock washed up on the beach. This rock was similar in size to a football. Stephen extended his arm to touch the rock. He'd read a lot about strange beaches, but nothing about finding strange discoveries. He and his wife were eager to know more. He waited patiently till he could pinpoint the smell, but still nothing. It was completely unfamiliar. The smell was disgusting but very strong. He recalled it was like a mix between squid and farmyard manure. Stephen and Viola had always wanted to be rich. They waited for the day that something just changed and they would win the lottery or something. Well, for most people, that was just a dream. For them, it was closer than they thought. The couple thought deeply about what they should do with the rock. They weren't sure if to leave it behind because of the smell or take it with them. This required intense thought until they would arrive at a decision. The couple had no intention of letting go. This could be their big chance to get rich, and they were not just going to pass it up. They weren't positive it was worth anything, but they were willing to test their luck. He carefully lifted the rock and wrapped it in Viola's scarf. He wanted it to stay secure. He also didn't want to show this rock to anyone else. As soon as he arrived home, he'd go online. Stephen pulled out his fisherman's scales to check the size of the strange rock. It said nearly three and a half pounds. This made the couple excited and eager. At that point, he was aware that he could not do this alone. He went on to a community Facebook group and posted a photo of the rock. Shortly after, there were tons of comments. You won't believe what happened afterwards. Everyone wanted to share their responses. They had very abstract ideas, and he was quick to dismiss. Some said that it could be part of a volcanic rock that came from the ocean, while others speculated that it was a meteor. Then someone suggested that Steve use the magnet test. This would help him get to his answer. This guy was sure he was correct, but unfortunately, nobody had the answers. In an interview, Steven said that the rock felt like hard rubber ball. The texture was also wax-like. It's like you were touching wax. With these descriptions, what could it be? There was something off about the rock that causes such chaos in the Witten home. He took the object to his home and held it up against a magnet. At this point, his anxiety was boosting. I don't know about you, but we're pretty nervous ourselves. He was starting to get hesitant to continue. He and his wife were not equipped to experiment on this strange rock. It could easily be dangerous. They had no idea. At the same time, they couldn't stop their curiosity. The magnet test is a useful way to check if an object is gold. In cases where it's not authentic, the fake gold will attract magnets. The magnet helps people understand what the real material they found is. After performing the magnet test, he found that the rock didn't contain any iron. This meant that it was not a meteorite, despite what some thought. Still, Stephen was unsure why the object had such a horrible smell. After a search, the man decided that this was too much for him to handle on his own. 
He had no way of knowing if it was dangerous. He quickly called for assistance and momentarily men in uniform arrived. He got help from those online, but it wasn't enough. Nobody knew what it was for sure and he needed the mind of an expert to uncover the truth. You'll never guess what happened when he called for help. Moments later, two experts arrived in protective gear and cordoned off his home. They entered the house and tried to get rid of the substance carefully when Stephen and his wife told them what to do. They left the rock on the table for experts to examine. After looking carefully, they delivered the news to the couple. Stephen and Viola were left completely speechless. This was far beyond what they were expecting. Stephen grabbed Viola and pulled her in close as they waited to go forward. The whole time Stephen was thinking about the worst possible scenario. They hoped that the experts would calm them, but one look at their faces and this was not the case. The authorities informed Stephen that the item was not going to cause any harm and this was a breath of fresh air for them, although it was not just a piece of garbage on the beach. Then the official said what it was and his eyes brightened. The expert said that the rock was a very rare piece of ambergris. Sometimes this would wash up on the shore. For centuries, people desired the substance ambergris. It's common known for its horrible odor. However, over time, it starts to become rather sweet. For hundreds of years, this material has been included in expensive perfumes. Some say you can even eat it. Ambergris originates in the bile duct of whales and then goes out. This process is a bit gross. It's very rare, so it's worth a ton. Lucky for Stephen and Viola, they just stumbled upon it. They started to get excited. Ambergris comes from one specific whale, the sperm whale. These whales can be located in all oceans. They can become 67 feet long and weigh nearly over 63 tons. Sperm whales have increased in amount but do not always produce a lot. Sperm whales have been hunted for years due to their blubber. This blubber can be used to create candles, soap, machine oil, and more. In the 19th and 20th centuries, nearly one million whales were killed, so in 1980 there was a law against this. Thus, ambergris is so rare these days. Not only is ambergris so rare, but the process of creating it is also very slow. Most people also think that not all sperm whales produce the substance. Expert officials say that only 1% of the population produces this. It's usually found in the Atlantic Ocean. Most countries have banned trading ambergris. In the United States, trading ambergris is part of the larger ban on hunting and using whales for personal preference. However, in the UK, Stephen got lucky. Their ambergris is categorized as waste. The couple was completely blown away when they discovered that someone else found ambergris in Morecambe. This was found very close to Stephen and Viola and sold for $1,555,000. Stephen and Viola wondered how much theirs would be worth. The ambergris found in Morecambe weighed nearly six pounds. It was double the size of the Witten piece, so that meant that theirs would probably go for about $65,000. For a whale product, that seemed incredible. With all this money, what would the couple do? Settle their debt? Pay their mortgage? Maybe retire early? However, in an interview with the Daily Mirror, Stephen said that it would help them towards buying a static caravan, which is their lifelong dream.